everybody, it's Titanic Feed Jack, and I'm back with the conclusion of my top 15 pickups of 2023. Today, we're going to look at the top five sneakers. These are the best of the best that I picked up this year in 2023. Uh, hope you guys been enjoying the countdown thus far, and I'm not going to uh, keep you any longer. Just need a couple of things from you before we get started. Hit that like button on the video sub up to the channel if you haven't already and do hit that notification bell so you can see any other video that i upload in a foreseeable future now coming in at number five it's a sneaker collab and it's on one of my favorite if not the favorite jordan silhouette that ever released that ever retros it retros a lot uh it is a collab with an artist uh I'm not familiar with his music but this is not this artist's first collab with the Jordan brand I'm talking but the Jordan 3 J Balvin the Medellin Sunset really like this sneaker it had a couple of uh clothing items to come out with these I really like how the uh the colors blended together on these the materials was really good Yep, I like the rollout. I actually have a, a piece of the merch that came with these. But uh, this is the number five sneaker on my top 15 of 2023. The Jordan 3 J Belvin Modellin Sunset. Coming in at number four on the countdown. Uh, this next sneaker is one of those silhouettes that gave us a lot of heat this year. Uh, it's a young guy. It's also a collab with Nike. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah. Uh, it's a collab. And this guy is very young in age. And I was really inspired by his story. Um, I really like seeing the younger folks putting in that work and uh, bearing the fruits of their labor. So, with that being said, the number four sneaker is the Nike SB, the Crenshaw Skate Club little Tobias he really did a good job on these uh yeah I really like the sneaker I have a video and I didn't know what this meant I continued doing some research this is supposed to be the Crenshaw sign at the frame of uh, Crenshaw uh, strip mall the swap me out there in California uh, but these were pretty pretty well put together good good materials on here and i really like them we had all kind of extra laces we did uh had some merch i believe that released but your boy didn't touch any of the merch but uh you don't need to touch the merch when you got your own brain you know what i'm saying so but uh i really like this sneaker and uh that's why it came in at number four on the countdown 2023 of my top 15 pickups this is the nike SB Dunk Low Crenshaw Skate Club. Coming in at number three, uh, I haven't seen this sneaker on anyone's countdowns yet. I'll be watching people's countdowns. I haven't seen this sneaker at all on people's countdown. Not sure if people remember if this sneaker came out this year, but this sneaker it had some buzz around. People were trying to get their hands on it, and I don't believe there was a lot of stock in these. Uh, this silhouette i mean you know most of these sneaker heads today probably wasn't even born when this sneaker uh first came to us with well, the silhouette anyway but uh the boy i knew about them sneakers back then i was alive well and kicking in school and all that good stuff i'm talking about the jordan one high 85 black and white or the black white this was a very good sneaker. I mean, it speaks for itself. Classic black and white, good materials, and that high 85 cut. Uh, not sure uh, if we're gonna get the Jordan ones high OG in this colorway again, but the high 85, it was a go for me. Had to have these. Uh, so this is the number three sneaker on my countdown. The Jordan 1 High 85 Black and White. Coming in at number two on the countdown this year. Uh, it's a sneaker 
I recently did a video on it. Uh, so if you guys follow my channel, you probably know what this sneaker is. Because I believe I did mention in the video that this sneaker probably would enter my top 15 of this year. This sneaker is a collab. We had an unfortunate incident with one of the owners of the brand. Uh, not Nike. I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about the Born Raised Nike SB Don't Go One Block at a Time. Yes, uh, it was unfortunately what happened to Chris, but uh, this sneaker, pretty sure he would have been proud of this sneaker. Uh, the, with the leather sock liner, uh, with the extras, Born Raised. Every time I uh, look online, checking my email, they have new uh merch they uh they really did a good job with the sneaker and i like uh different things with the uh ornate holes in the toe box and on the side of the sneaker you got the hologram on the back heel hologram swoosh i mean there was no sb that came out this year that had all these different things in one sneaker on the turf on the back there's a lot of History was a lot went into this sneaker. That's why it was the number two sneaker on my countdown for 2023. Nike SB Dunk Low, one block at a time by the Born Raised brand. And coming in at the number one sneaker for This sneaker came to us originally in 1988, that is correct. Uh, the silhouette anyway, it is a Jordan silhouette. It happens to be one of my favorite. Mike Wardies are one very close to it in the dunk contest at the old Chicago Stadium. All you guys out there from Chicago, you may remember Chicago Stadium where the Chicago Bulls used to play where they had famous slam dunk contest during all-star weekend took place be between michael jordan excuse me and dominique wilkins and i still say dominique was robbed mike shouldn't have won that dunk contest but he got that hometown love that's the only reason i think mike won that dunk contest but uh that night he wore a sneaker from his famous dunk the glide from the free throw line talking about the Jordan 3 white cement, but we have it as the reimagined in 2023. It doesn't get any better. Classic, it speaks for itself. It got the aged look on the midsole and on the back heel, and it's nothing better than this that came out this year, guys. You guys let me know your thoughts on it, but uh, this is the number one for me, guys. You got your little piece on here. Nice soft tumbled level. Air Jordan Retro 3 reimagined white cement guys. That's my number one sneaker this year. So let me know your thoughts on the countdown this year. Uh there was some good sneakers that didn't make the countdown, but uh we'll discuss that at a later date. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Happy New Year to you guys. Make sure you guys are safe out there if you're gonna party tonight. Uh and God bless everybody. And, and if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting your sneaker. I'm Titania Feet Jack, signing out.